2018 got off to a chilling start. Two main women shot and killed, one in Portland and the other in Franklin County. Police say both their partners pulled the trigger. Maine Coalition to End Domestic Violence tells us one in four women will experience abuse at the hands of an intimate partner. Jesse Marza knows how that goes. He would call my phone hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Even if I was home, he would just call my phone and leave voice messages on there that were, I mean, things that you don't say to people, he would say to me, um, scary things. Jessie says she kept going back to her boyfriend because they had a daughter together and she wanted to make it work. She says he stole from her, stalked her, and threatened her. I can't do this anymore. This is, this is it. This is like, I can't, I can't do this. This, this isn't life. After two and a half years, she finally said goodbye for good. I had a lot of stuff um, and I'm like, I'm going to throw it all away <laughs> or most of it. I got to start over. Today, she's happily married and busy raising her daughter. I want her, you know, to grow up and, and know about healthy relationships and know about, you know, there's good things to look forward to. In a few years, her daughter could sit through a class like this. You're really just going to throw away everything we built together? <laughs> well, why don't you take tonight and think about it? And if you can come back here tomorrow and look me in the eyes and tell me that you don't have any feelings for me whatsoever. Two youth educators from YAP Young Adult Abuse Prevention Program perform a skit in front of a health class at Deering High School. Carolyn, why don't you wake up and realize that no one's going to love you like I do? The characters Jake and Caroline are dating, but it's a rocky relationship. This wasn't real, but we know that this kind of reality can happen for some of us. Statistics show one in three teens will experience emotional, physical, verbal, or sexual abuse from a dating partner. At Deering alone, that would translate to about 300 students. But now students know how to pick up on dysfunction. I think it made me realize that like abuse and dating isn't always violence, because that's probably what most people think of, that it can be a lot of other things too. There's other efforts happening throughout the state. In Augusta, kids as early as middle school learn about red flags like humiliation and jealousy. Educators are taking prevention efforts a step further. We're doing some focus groups to find out what's going on in the culture of the schools, behind the scenes. Technology is changing how we all communicate, which can complicate things. Youth seem to be starting to get into relationships younger and younger, and they are showing signs of um, dysfunction. But after sitting through the class, these students can take what they learn into the hallways. It made me think that this stuff is happening all around us all the time, and that's sometimes hard to see it. And carry it with them for the rest of their lives. They have this paper as a reminder, a list of resources if they need them. Something Jesse could have used years ago. Now she's working with educators and advocates to help others who are enduring the same pain she did. It's important just to not think that that's just how life is, because it's not, that's not life. For teens and adults who are facing domestic abuse, there are resources available. Advocates are on hand to talk to you about your situation. Just call 1-800-537-6066. There are several options available through anonymous text and online chat. You can find out more about those resources on my Facebook page. In the studio, Lauren Bradley, WMTW News 8.